So they have to block both, of course, because they know about the Shen Stand United in hand. Unless they want to lose. You want to lose? And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shen Fiora. It's going to be our first of four very cool decks today. We got some fun ones. We got three donation decks, and then we're going to be playing some Soraka Braum later because that's a deck that I've been wanting to play. So yeah, we're going to be playing cool decks just like we always do because, um, as I always say, the future is unwritten. So let's write something cool. And we are going to play some cool decks. So this is going to be a viewer-submitted Shen Fiora list that has um, a couple of young witches in there. Something that's a little different. But, but besides that, it's lower to the ground. Basically, the, the whole curve is 1 through 5. Except we got one of this brand new Shen Boat Sacred Protector. 7 mana, 8, 6. That is huge for a 7 drop. When I'm summoned, draw a Shen. And our allies with barrier have double attack. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, so let's let's uh, try that out with our Shen. Excited about that. But yeah, it's just Fiora Shen. It is built to defeat the aggro decks with having this low to the ground curve and just like your other mid range unit decks. So let's see how it does. We're going to go uh, take this on over to ranked and play five games like normal. Here we go. Ooh, we got LeBlanc and Sivir. This deck has a reputation for being pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan my hand. It was a great hand to send back and reshuffle and draw four others. Maybe don't count it. Get him, birdie. Young Witch looking great. Looking a little better than Bright Seal Formation. The card that Kordak really wanted to put Bright Seal Formation in the deck, and I was like, no, don't put don't put in Bright Seal Formation. You need to have a lower curve. And Kordak was like, alright, I guess. I guess we'll play Young Witch instead. The best lies are beautiful. Kinda want a single combat. I guess I'll pass though. <laughs> okay, yeah. Goomba says YouTube people will be getting the wrong impression, and that's true. Alright, so for reals, I wanted to play Bright Steel Formation, and, and Kordek was like, no, we need to have a lower curve, and we're going to play Young Witch instead. <laughs> Alright, those are some 5 power quick attacks. Those are not wonderful to play against. How do I get rid of Sivir? What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. Should I use like single combat and concerted strike to kill Sivir? Like single combat for the spell shield, then concerted strike? Or do I just do absolutely nothing this round and stand united next round? Because if I do go stand united next round, I'm not gonna be able to, like if they have you know like fight spell to if they have like whatever to kill the barrier. I'm gonna do this. Cause I won't have the mana do anything else. I I'm, I'm gonna do this. The soul wears away like rains of sand. I'm gonna do this. I think it's worth it. Sivir. 
Sivir is incredibly good. Because if I just try to rely on Stand United and then they, you know, play like any fight spell, you know, like Whirling Death, Bloody Business, anything like that that gets rid of the barrier, I'm in a lot of trouble. Was I supposed to notify that? Probably not. I don't really realize my love, t my life total is so low. I'm kind of pretty dead. Our wills align. Kind of think I should have just let the Shen die there and played new Shen. Foolish. Then I can't really make good blocks with anything else. Not enough life. If they have another overwhelm thing. Or even just having everything be vulnerable. Hope they play something I can nopify. Or deny. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. Okay, we got Aurelia Zier. I think that I'm, I'm pretty happy for this matchup. I think that uh, Fiora can be very good against different Sand Soldiers. I'm going to keep these three. I was considering not keeping Fleet Feather Tracker. Uh, Sinji, you can absolutely donate a deck for me to play. I will not be playing it today. I got my schedule up here on the left of like, we're, we're, I'm playing three donation decks already today, but I can play it any other day. If you want me to play it tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, you can let me know whatever other day you want me to play, but it won't be today because I already got my schedule for today. I don't, I don't really do donation decks the same day, but I can do them the next day or any other day. Yeah, it's definitely a very good Fiora matchup, but I I liked my hand of like Tracker Shen, Twin Disciplines. I didn't want to mulligan too hard for it, but I am completely regretting not having uh, not having any other two or three mana units, so just wasting all that mana. Every blade, every beat in its place. Two worlds, one balance. Do 
I do not regret keeping Shen whatsoever. Shen is an incredible card. I am perfectly fine keeping the Shen. So yeah, forcing them to use their recall cards first. Yeah, I guess I could have blocked the 1-2 instead of the Sand Soldier, but I would have taken one more damage, but I could have tried to get that thing out of here, I suppose. Hmm. Twin Disciplines in there, huh? That's intriguing, especially because I had nothing else to do this round. Taking their time. Oh man. So I should have used Nupify last round. I guess I wasn't expecting Deny at all. So I should have used Homecoming the last round instead of the single combat that I used. So getting punished for that. Because now, you know, now I don't have like the other single combat instead of I have Nupify instead. So I got punished for that. Thanks, Sharp Sight. Uh, if we would have had Sharp Sight last round, right? Like we we would have been able to play it, block Droplet, and challenge to keep like right. Like we would have just been able to kill both of them. Okay, so got punished for you know like which card I played last round. We'll see if we are still able to pull out the victory, but we are in a worse spot than we could have been. That's in the past. Got to keep looking forward. I dance not to forget, but to remember. I don't like seeing that. I don't like seeing that very much. Zier, so many champions. Today. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. The first land. So that will level up Aurelia, of course. So now, bug fix, they get the blade surge.
couldn't level up. Yeah, I could, could not level up Shen last round. I think it really is the most important thing to kill right now. I won't gain 16 since they blocked with the Sacred Protector. Because you'd only gain 8. Like, the, the second strike won't strike anything. Unless that's another Aurelia. I'm feeling okay about this. Good. Good. The order is given. Uh, feeling less okay about it. Feeling less okay about it. Okay, so you're at three out of four. My father's blame. They are under my protection. Still attacked? Alright, we're back to 13. We got plenty of life. Back to 13. Now we got got our champs. Always two steps ahead. I wasn't exactly sure with Stand United which one we were getting the plus three on. I think I think it worked out just fine. Do want to single combat to this droplet, but how they're like passing and not playing anything, that this could definitely be just like a recall card. I'll wait. Ooh. That stops recall There's cards. A way out. This doesn't stop that one though. This game's over. Still got, you know, casting this like this because I have the deny backup. I guess theoretically they could have pump spell and give like plus three, plus one. Or plus three, plus zero. Okay, I guess there are more pump spells now to have. It's alright, the game's still over. Walk softly, strike quickly. Shen's gonna own up. So they have to block both, of course, because they know about the Shen stand united in hand. Unless they want to lose, you want to lose. You call that sneaky? <laughs> yeah, I could have denied the single combat, but I'll just keep the deny. We're good. Every attacker we have is lethal. They got to block every attacker. They can't do that forever. Like we, this game's over. 
If I knew I was going to be drawing another Nopify, I would have denied, but... I didn't know I was drawing that Nopify. Oh, dang. You need not follow, but you will witness. They can't attack and they can't block. Alright, they're just gonna go with the attack. And there we go, that will do it. G G, one and one. You fought with honor. Lurkers. Alright, let's try some lurkers. Hello, you the best. Do I send them all back? Or keep River Shaper? Okay, so Korik says that we should keep deny for the Pike champion spell, the pike spell. And we're gonna mulligan the rest. Because if they lurk pike, they get that death from below, and that death from below, super scary. Also, zero say hatchling, pretty scary. But they didn't lurk. I don't think they're very good at this game. I think they're if they were good at the game, they would have lurked. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Now they lurked. Um. Oh, they dubs lurked. Double lurked. We're just gonna do normal block. I'm gonna save twin disciplines for the Fiora. Wow, never mind. They're really good at this game. They double lurked. Always two steps ahead. They're really good at this game. Such unrefined style. All right, so they've double lurked twice thanks to Rek'Sai. I should have just been patient. Uh, I should have been patient. I should have just taken it. I guess I couldn't have taken it. I would have had to... Hmm. I guess I should have just like sharp side or something and had this thing block this hatchling and taken that. I don't know. These lurkers can get crazy out of hand if they hit the lucky lurks. I guess this is what I have to do if I want to try to stay alive with all these things that are like all these lethal attackers. I think this is what I gotta do. Man, Rek'Sai, Rek'Sai really does change this the math of the deck, getting by round three, having plus four, plus zero to every single unit in the deck. That shape stone though, like, the, like I was in perfect command until that shape stone. That would have been just fine until that shape stone. Oh, I am so sorry opponent. I thought I was waiting on the opponent the whole time, not waiting on me to click okay. I thought I, thought I already clicked okay. Yeah, and they hit a death from below. All right, well, whatever, and your life's great. I 
I've always liked playing against discard aggro, though. Discard aggro is, like, always a deck whenever I get paired against it. I'm pretty excited. I think they're, I think discard aggro promotes fun games. I do. I've always thought that. And, and yeah, they can, they can high roll and kill you and stuff, you know, like, but I, I've, I think playing against discard aggro is fun games. Doesn't mean I win all the time, but I think they're, they're fun games. Lissandra Talia? Like, what are we, what are we doing here? Like, what is our deck? What are, what are any of these cards supposed to do? Not gonna lie, our deck's been looking pretty bad. Just these, and by looking pretty bad, I mean we have not gotten any good hands. Like none of these hands are anything that I'm happy about. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. What is this? So they just want to play a new Lissandra? Man, that is bold. Just willing to throw away another Lissandra? So they had flash freeze. Interesting. They could have saved Lissandra, it didn't. Interesting. That's a nine. Not quite there, so close, one one off. I guess I just attack for six. I don't really see a better play. I guess I should, yeah, maybe I should just challenge with, well, if I want to challenge with Fiora, then we wouldn't have killed their thing, and then I wouldn't have had lethal here. Like, I could have, like, inserted strike, but they could have played another blocker. Like what? Like they would have had? They still would have had the blocker, so I would have done zero damage this round. Oh, I get you. Okay, I missed that. I missed that. I understand what you're talking about now. Saying that I should have, like, if I would have challenged with Fiora, because I thought that I, I was just thinking like, if I would have challenged with Fiora, they still would have had a blocker, but they would not have had a blocker because the ravine would have finished off the eight eight. They played a couple of frostbite spells already. Gotta hope they don't have another frostbite spell. Gosh, man. They just have double clock hand. That's still just gonna be dead. It's 
So I'm considering the bladder ravine dealing damage to my own units and not that it's going to be dealing damage to the opponent's units as well. That's a good thing to learn. I should consider that. No. You know, we don't know, like, what they had to respond to that. Like, if they would have had, you know, another Frostbite spell or anything like that, they would have not had me have legal DI. I, I had a chance. So keeping deny last last time didn't work. How many denies do I have in here? The two. Death from below is ridiculously good, but we have to like stop the early lurk as lurks attack. And like, how do we stop that? Like without having any blockers. Okay. Cork says it's just good to keep denies. I'm really worried about them just doing the same thing they did last time. I'm definitely playing this Protector on round two. Wow, they didn't have a one-drop. That's great for me. Okay, well, now, like, now I got Tracker with these, but yeah, I was playing something on round two. Those things are so loud. <laughs> that card is so loud. Water changes but never breaks. Okay, so they took half second to choose something, you gotta think that they hit Pike, because... Okay, or it's Rek'Sai. Like, I was gonna say it's one of those two. I was gonna say Pike or Rek'Sai, but... So we know it's Rek'Sai. My opponents are always lucky, so we know they hit one of them. A gift from the river folk. Could go Bright Steel Protector single combat here, like that could be the different the better line, but I love getting Shen in, in play, I love getting the champion in play. Um, but that is a possibility for the better line. I like them wasting a card though as well. It's always good. I would I would do Shen if this wasn't vulnerable, but since the River Shaper is vulnerable, I'm going to do the River Shaper. Feeling pretty good about our chances. Right now. So we, we know like they're, I guess, I guess just we only know one card. One card in hand is a Lurk follower. We know they got the Lurk card on top. I could definitely see that being the death from below. So I definitely like having the... Yeah. I guess if they block Fleet Feather Tracker, they're not blocking Chen. Anyway, but I like having the deny right now. I feel like we're in a good spot. Yep, there's that death from below. There's the deny for it. And we are in a good spot. Got this. It must be done. Playing the standing knife just does an additional three points of damage, doesn't kill them. 
Well then. That's a card. The balance has been maintained. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm killing him. All right, we are two and three. Everything as it should be. Okay, so that was Shen Fiora. I I think that we kind of underperformed for a little bit for how good the deck is. I think the deck's fair, you know, like I think the deck's really good. We kind of went. Okay, so our record was two and three. It was kind of three and three. We didn't uh, put in the very first game against our first opponent because they just didn't do anything and we killed them super fast. And so it wasn't very interesting. So we just didn't count that. But if we would have counted that, it would have been three and three. But I think Fiora Shen is in a good spot right now. I think Fiora in particular is in a good spot. We we kind of had some bad hands, a lot of those, right? Like we would mulligan and just have like expensive cards and like not, the, not any like cheap cards, cheap, you know, cheap things out there. I wasn't very impressed with Young Witch and Golden Ages, just kind of overall and Concerted Strike. I kind of feel like that there's better cards to be playing than Young Witch, Golden Ages, and Concerted Strike. Or that, like, those those aren't really that necessary. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. That was that was Shen Fiora. I, I did miss having my Bright Seal Protect... My, my Bright Seal Protect... Or Formation. Bright Seal Formation. It's hard to have the games go that long, though. I understand. But Sacred Protector, Bright Steel Formation, these cards are just so powerful. They just will win at games. But it is difficult to have the games go that long. So I, I do understand that. Um, I like Spirit's Refuge. Uh, I don't know exactly what else I would kind of have in here, though. I've always been a fan of Prismatic Barrier being a three-mana barrier. I've always been a fan of that card. I think that card's kind of underrated. I do like Cataclysm, but I guess... Single combat's just better, so never mind. You only have room for, like, sing single combat or prismatic barrier. Chain Vest is always an option with Fiora decks. I would kind of, like, kind of try to focus on the Lurker matchup a little bit more. We did look a little weak to Lurkers a little bit. Like, their strong uh, starts and things like that. But, um, yeah, Fiora. Fiora's in a really good spot right now, and I think, I think Fiora's a very good champion, but just we didn't really have Fiora early in spell, right? Like, we just... It's only five games, right? So, like, we really didn't, like, showcase how good Fiora is. But I think both both these champions, both Fiora and Shen, are really, really good champions. And they're very powerful. But, uh, yeah, I, I was kind of I'm pretty skeptical still on Young Witch, Golden Ages, and Concerted Strike for how the metagame is. But, anyway, there we go. That's uh, Shen Fiora. So, those of y'all watching later on YouTube... Hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know uh, if you've been playing a different Shen Fiora list, any kind of card changes you got, how's it been going for you, or anything like that. I think this deck is still good. I think this is a, and like the Twin Disciplines was a very nice upgrade for the deck. And I think this is a, a very solid deck. All right, but that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.